In Major League Baseball, Daryl Thomas played 15 years in the big leagues, highlighted by five seasons with the Dodgers, including that World Series championship in 1981. It was a dream come true for the Los Angeles native, and I sat down with Thomas for this week's edition of The Boys in Blue. Boys in Blue, sponsored by Caposio Buick GMC. Let's talk just a little bit about Daryl Thomas, the baseball player, before, before you came to the Dodgers. Being born and raised in L.A., graduate of Dorsey High School, it was my dream to play for the Dodgers. I used to sneak into Dodger Stadium. Jim, I worked at Dodger Stadium before I even signed to play professional baseball. And I sold Bubble Up in the very top deck of Dodger Stadium. When they had the crates, you had to carry the crates around and you open it with the can opener, pour it in the cup, give them the cup, put the bottle back in there. What was your proudest moment as a member of the Dodgers? Standing out by the Dodger offices in 1979, after signing my contract with the Dodgers to play for L.A., that was my most, I, I, I finally felt that I had arrived uh, in Major League Baseball to be able to play for the Dodgers. But what about on the field, your proudest moment? On the field, my proudest moment was giving Tommy a heart attack on a, on a ball that I used to use on the basket catch. And one of the umpires said, hey, how long can you catch the ball? I said, well, I catch about six inches off the ground. He said, no, you can't do that. I said, sure, watch, the next next ball hit, that it has to be the right ball, I'm gonna do it for you. Next thing you know, we're playing the Reds, and I think Pete Rose might've hit the ball. Uh, fly ball, weak fly ball, right center field. And I go there, I tap my glove three times, which was my signature, three times, and then boom drop it down, you know? And Tommy went cuckoo. And I just had to start laughing while I was running into the dugout because I knew he was gonna cuss me out as soon as I got in there. But it was fun, I had a great time. And uh, did he use some words of profanity at you? Well, we won't go into that, you know? We'll, we'll kind of leave that in the closet right now. Welch continues to throw in the Los Angeles bullpen. Watson hits it high in the air. For the center fielder, Ken Landro, this should do it. The Dodgers for the 1981 champions of baseball. There's another thing that I'd like to talk about, and that is winning the whole thing. That was a big upset for the Yankee fans. <laughs> they started leaving about the sixth inning, you know. We wanted to win the whole thing and finally had a chance to get the Yankees. Since the Yankees beat the Dodgers in the 77 and 78, and I told Tommy in 1978, the only way you're gonna beat them Yankees is to get me on this team. And Tommy started laughing, and Al Campanis was sitting right there listening to everything I said to Tommy. Next thing you know, in 1981, he came up to me, Al, Cam Al Campanis, and said, I remember what you told Tommy in 1978. And that was one of my most proud moments. But you also know how lucky you were, and still right now, how lucky you are. Oh, I'm blessed, Jim. I'm telling you, I am blessed. I was blessed to have the opportunity to play professional baseball. I was blessed for an opportunity to have my dream come true as playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers and also having a chance to win a world championship with the, the team that I grew up uh, as, as a fan. And Maury Wills was my idol. That's why I wore the number 30. And uh, uh, I was very, very, very blessed. 